Hi everyone, I'm Vishnu Subramanian, founder of Jarvis Labs. In this video, we're going to see how anyone can create beautiful images without actually knowing much about prompts. To do this, we are going to use something called if prompt. We'll get to the technical details a bit later. But before that, let's see what can be done here, right? Here, all I'm giving is the word woman, which is probably the most used for generating images. And see how the prompt is being getting enhanced and how the model is able to generate really good looking woman without any of the fancy prompts that we otherwise would be giving, right? And there are like different ways, like you can say, uh, probably Neopunk and it gives a completely different style of the image, right? Just by certain tweaks, we can control how the image is being generated. How can you achieve this or how you can do it in your uh, instance or something we'll be looking in this video. Before we uh, do this, we need to understand a uh, important tool called Olama, which is an open source tool. If you're using Jarvis Labs, uh, it all it already comes as a template. So you can just click and you can point it to your uh, local UI tool, which probably I'll be making a, another video soon, right? But in this video, what we will do is we'll not be using the Olama template. Rather, we will be using the Comfy UI instance and installing the Olama in it, right? The actual steps for that, what I'll do is I'll leave it in the description so that you can try it. If you're using a, your own workstation, the steps should be similar. Or you can go to the Olama website. They have steps for Microsoft, Windows, Apple, Mac, and Linux mission. On We provide Linux missions in Jarvis Lab, so you can use these two steps to get the Olama installed on your uh, cloud instance. Once you do that, you have to uh, start the Olama serve, which actually enables a server. So let's do that. And we will also uh, need to run some particular model or we need to download some particular model. Let's say, for example, in this case, I'm downloading something called Gemma 2B, right? Just to make things quicker, I've already downloaded this model so that we don't waste time, right? Once I'm here, I can uh, talk to it like, how we interact with a platform like ChatGPT, right? Can you uh, give me a prompt for generating a beautiful mountain, right? So if you see, uh, if you look at the response for this, it's, it's not very much specific to how we use prompts for stable diffusion, right? So that's where we use another uh, tool or a node for Comfy UI called If AI Tools, which is uh, probably an amazing work done by probably an individual contributor. It's open source software. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to use the Olama uh, multiple LLM models available in it with our Comfy UI software, right? So here what we will do is now let's get rid of this by uh, clearing the workflow, right? And let's start with the default one, right? So before we do this, let's just move all these things to the side so that we have enough space to build it. Uh, let's pr probably pick, I've been playing with the Juggernaut model. Sorry, it's SD Excel. Let's use this, right? Uh, if you're doing it for the first time, you also have to install this multiple nodes. For this one, you can just say install custom nodes and you can search for if comfy UI, right? It's already there. Or what you can do is in this, in my case, I've already installed it, right? So this one is the comfy UI if AI tools. You install it, restart it. You can just do it from comfy UI manager. As usual, if you're using a Jarvis Labs instance, the Configure Manager is pre-installed for you, right? Once it's done, let's try to go and add the uh, if AI tools node so that we can talk to our Lama. Different LLM models, right? So it's part of impact frames. Let's start with something called if prompt to prompt, okay? So here, what we, so we added a node. Okay, and in this node, what we are going to do is it's, it's talking to the local host at port number 11434. That's the default port at which Olava runs, right? Uh, let's pick up a model called Gemma, okay? And let's leave everything aside. And then what we'll do is here, we're not going to give the 
positive prompt or negative prompt. So what we will do is we will say right click and say convert text to input. Once we do this, we can actually connect the text to input here and we'll do the same here so that we can do the same for the negative prompt, right? So let's uh, minimize these things so that we have enough space for playing around, right? So I think this should be enough for us to generate the image. Let's bring it here so we can see things, right? So this is very simple, right? But let's say, what if you want to understand what is happening? So in order to do that, let's, uh, there is another node as part of this impact pack, sorry, impact frames, which is called IP display text. There is another node also called uh, save text, which you can use probably if you want to uh, save the prompts that is being generated. So let's put this to the response and put this to the negative, right? And let's also bring another one add node impact frames and say ip display text and let's put this to the question now let's run the prompt again now what you would see is we can see what is the positive prompt that is being generated right so we are just saying okay let's uh, remove this and let's say just say cat give me an image of a cat so what is happening here is the gemma model and the node is doing certain applying certain styles to the prompt and it's also giving a lot of more details to the prompt that we have right that is what is making the uh images to be generated very beautifully so we, we are able to do a lot more professional images or it gives you a starting place for us to have images and probably you can remove the words that we don't want these are not perfect but this gives you a uh better place to start right so but what if i don't want a prompt what if i want to start with an image right so in order to do that what we'll do is we'll not use this particular thing uh this particular node that is prompt to prompt but rather than that we'll say a uh, image to prompt okay now we pick this right let's uh, delete this All right and let's do these connections as usual let's keep this bit far okay for now we since we have seen how the prompts are getting changed let's remove them right and let's connect the positive prompt to here and negative prompt to here so i have to enhance this and then i have to connect this to the positive prompt now let's minimize this let's expand this and let's connect it to the negative prompt right once this is done, so what we can do is we can attach an image to this. Let's say load image. Okay, and let's use the car that image that we have. Uh, let's see if you're able to generate the image, which I don't think so. Okay, the reason it doesn't work is all the models are not good at understanding the image. To do that, we have to use a model called Lava. It is a multi-model. LLMs are usually single model. That is, it understands the text, right? So Lava uh, is capable of understanding the images also. That's also, you should be able to run it with the old Lama tool, which is an open source tool, which uh, allows us to run multiple large language models or the multi-large multi models like uh, Lava. You can also run them on your laptop, right? So now we have this image. We have chosen the model as Lava. Let's see if the workflow is able to generate images of a car. All right. So now we got the image of a car. That's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the workflow. If you face any challenges, you can write down on the comments. We will try to answer. Or you can also join our Discord group. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.